Lingua Franca is the common language adopted by people from different countries with different native languages in order to facilitate international communication. It seems that the world's lingua franca has been English for the longest time. But before that, French was actually the world's lingua franca from the 17th century until the mid-20th century. It still is in some international institutions. But English has largely replaced French on the world stage. And unlike French, English was the first actual global lingua franca. English, mother do you speak it? Yes! Meaning to say, it's spoken almost everywhere around the world. When did the transition actually happen? And how did the world change with the new language? Back in 1635, the French language was still trying to define its position on the international stage. Cardinal Richelieu, chief minister to King Louis XIII, created the Académie Française on the 22nd of February 1635. The principal council established as the official authority on the French language. By the 18th century, classical French took over from Latin in international treaties, beginning with the Treaty of Rastatt in 1714, ending the War of the Spanish Succession. From then on, the language took over the courts of Europe. Speak English! Stander! The Enlightenment period, the intellectual and philosophical movement that spread throughout Europe in the 17th and 18th centuries, originated in France. Enlightenment thinkers such as Diderot and Voltaire gave the French language its eminent cultural status. Add the French Revolution and the Napoleonic Wars that followed it, France had the military power to conquer Europe. When Napoleon brought the French Empire throughout Europe, his code, the Napoleonic Code, brought the French language with it. You don't frighten us, English pig dogs! Territories abroad such as Canada, Louisiana, colonies in the Caribbean, parts of India, Brazil, and most of Northwest Africa came onto the hands of France. But English eventually took over Canada when the French lost in the Seven Years' War back in 1763, and Napoleon sold Louisiana to the Americans back in 1803. English language began to push the French aside. France had the French Revolution, but the British had the Industrial Revolution, kickstarting the movement around the latter half of the 18th century. Science and technology advanced at an incredible pace and output significantly increased. Anyone willing to ride the steam engine of the Industrial Revolution most likely had to learn the English language. The courts of Europe might still have been speaking French, but English dominated the economy around the world. Excuse me? Excuse me? Sorry, um, do you speak English? No, I don't, sorry. The British Empire competed with the French Empire in expanding its power and influence around the globe. By the 19th century, Great Britain was acknowledged as the world's foremost power, with their colonies from India, Australia, the West Indies, South America, and several countries around Africa, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East speaking the English language. The British Empire seemed to have reached its peak after World War I, but World War II knocked them and the entire Europe down. England went bankrupt, but the United States, speaking in their more American form of the English language, came to the rescue to rebuild the continent. Oh, bloody hell. The Soviet Union competed in its influence during the Cold War after World War II, and it was as if the Russian language could be vying for the position as the world's lingua franca. But when the Soviet Union ultimately collapsed in 1991, English swiftly unleashed its influence around the globe. Not British English though, but American English. So it's not, take this generalist video with a pinch of salt, it's, take this generalist video with a grain of salt. If not English, what language would you choose as the world's lingua franca? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and consider checking out our other videos on the channel.